a gunman in a Lexus sped through traffic while spraying bullets at police and passers-by during a chase that stretched through West Baltimore for nearly half an hour Friday. By noon, his girlfriend had enough. She rushed into the street, bear-hugged the gunman, and dragged him from the car, said Chief T.J. Smith, a Baltimore police spokesman. She pinned her boyfriend down as the Lexus rolled away and officers rushed up. Her intervention brought a peaceful end to the violence that left two civilians shot and wounded. One officer was struck by the Lexus and hurt during the arrest. The chaos was all broadcast live by TV news crews. It's absolutely insane. Absolutely crazy what possessed this guy to do this? I have no idea, Police Commissioner Kevin Davis said. This could have been much, much worse. Police have not identified the 30-year-old gunman. But they said he's suspected of a triple shooting Thursday afternoon that left a 37-year-old man dead and two people wounded in southwest Baltimore. They said he's also suspected of a shooting last week that wounded one person in Edmondson. The driver who led police on a dramatic, high-speed car chase through West Baltimore was arrested. Carl Merton Farron slash Baltimore Sun video. The driver who led police on a dramatic, high-speed car chase through West Baltimore was arrested. Carl Merton Farron slash Baltimore Sun video. If we would have let this guy go, just imagine the damage and the destruction of life that would have ensued, Davis said. I'm just glad he's in a pair of handcuffs. During the chase, the woman whom police have not named was pleading with her boyfriend to surrender. They agreed to meet across from Mondaman Mall in West Baltimore. Girlfriend likely knows he's coming to intersection, runs to car and pulls him out, Smith wrote in a tweet. Officers then quickly move in and arrest suspect. Officers found a handgun and assault rifle with an extended magazine in the Lexus, Smith said. The violence began Friday morning when officers pulled over the driver of the Lexus in West Baltimore. They were searching for the car in connection to Thursday's triple shooting. When officers first encountered him, he was compliant and they were able to approach the vehicle, Smith said. Then the occupant took off. Smith said the man opened fire on the officers while driving away and missed them. They shot back and missed. They exchanged gunfire at Fulton Avenue and Mosher Street in Sandtown, Winchester. It doesn't appear that they struck the suspect or anyone else, Smith said. The gunman sped away and officers pursued. Within minutes, the police helicopter was trailing the Lexus. From inside the car, its windows tinted darkly, the driver continued shooting. The chase went on nearly 30 minutes. This story will be updated. T. Prudent at Baltsun.com Twitter.com slash T-I-M underscore P-R-U-D-E-N-T-E